Hey Boxers! Welcome to Build Post Guru. My name is Philip, and welcome to the channel. In this first part of the series, we are going to be creating game art. If you're not familiar with game art, it's, it's really simple. It's a 2D or 3D object that we move into a program like Avinity Designer or Avinity Photo. Or for example, make in software like Magic and Voxel or maybe Blender. Today I want to explain to you guys how you guys can actually make your own 2D art. And we're going to make some simple, hyper casual art by making it in the background. So as I explained, for this tutorial, for this first part of making game art, I want to show you guys my workflow. And we're going to be doing that by using a mini design. Create a file, because we want to make a mobile game, right? We want to create our first mobile game art. So I'm going to create a new file. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go to devices. We have a couple devices here. One of the devices that I want to pick here is going to be the iPhone 6, 7, 8 Retina. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to put the points on pixels. I'm not wanting to create an artboard. And from there I can simply click OK. So there's a couple of things that we need to know in Avinity Designer to start creating our first art pieces. When making art, or in this case, hyper casual art, we want to be using um, the pen tool. And we want to be making use of the color that we have over here with this wall panel that we can rotate around and we can go into the box to change the color. And then at the same time, we're going to be using the pen tool. So you can navigate quickly through your minute to design. You can simply hit P on the keyboard to create or to select the pen tool, and V to use the move tool. And these are pretty much all the things you want to be knowing at this point. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to simply start by clicking P. And I'm going to put a point onto this location. But first I want to take a color. And I think for this, I want to go for a brownish tint. And by having this brownish tint, I'm going to make some kind of earth layer. So I'm going to create some points over here. And I'm going to drag these points down, create some corners. As you can see. And then put that down. And I'm going to put that all the way around. And then as soon as I select this, I'm going to go over to this fill point. And I'm going to, for now, go to color. Get that brownish tint, as we know. Get the brownish color, not too brown. This is perfect. And when having this brownish color, we can go to the select tool, select out of the object, press P again, and we can start making our second layer. So I would like to start at the top, to the left, and put those layers up here. So think about we're making right now a infinity game in which we fall down. We are a certain object that falls down. So we want to make a art piece that actually goes into that particular part. So we create the second layer, has this exact same color. It looks maybe a little bit more brownish. I'm going to select this again. Now we have two layers here. We have the right one and the left one. So I'm going to select these guys as foreground. So I'm going to Select both of them, I'm gonna click on the right mouse button, I'm gonna group them, and we're gonna call these foregrounds. So that we know that these are our foreground. And we can export these as foregrounds and then import them into Buildbox and get them going. So the second thing I wanna do is I wanna create some dimension into this. A great video that actually explains how to do this too is the one of Buildbox. But I wanted to show you guys how to actually do that here. So we're gonna go into the, the software I'm using control and then the scroll wheel to zoom in and now I'm going to really closely go around this line here you don't have to go perfectly around it but you want to create this immersion of you actually having and creating the like the, the dimension or the, the kind of feeling that you're actually creating a certain extra layer there is certain layers i mean if we're talking about the earth the ground there is certain layers of ground that we have in there and we don't want that ground 
to look like a solid piece of co like a solid color that's what we don't want so we're gonna just like all the other pieces go up here connect them and what we're now going to be doing is we're going to be selecting a lighter brown so over here we go to color let's select that it's not gonna look perfectly fine right now but if we move this we can see that we now created this extra layer this new layer which is going to be the um, second layer you could put this on layer two in the build box engine and then again we're going to go to v p create that second layer on the other side And as soon as that's being created, we go over back to the fill spot. We take that new color that we have been creating. And we take the fell down to the ultimate button. It's behind there. And then again, we're going to cl click on both of these. And instead of clicking right mouse button, we can actually do Ctrl G and group them. And call this, let's do the second layer as an example and with the second layer being created we have two layers that work really nicely of each other and if we zoom out we can see that we're already getting a little bit of that di dimension into our artwork so the next thing that we want to do is we want to dive into an additional layer one that is going to give that ID of us having that really cool game and that third piece of ground that is available. We're gonna change the back color in a second. And then during the speed up, I will show you guys some final runs over the entire artwork. But as you can see, it's very simple to just drag around the colors here, one by one, creating some variation by combining them we see that we created this extra color we can go again to film this time i want to go for a lighter color so let's go for this color take that to the bottom now we have this additional layer here which we will call the third layer and then again as mentioned we do the f less than uh, the less layer, the less the other side. So let's do V, click out of there, P, and quickly create that. I will be speeding up this cycle for you guys. And then in the final end, we're gonna group both of these pieces. And then from there, we call that the third layer. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna quickly speed up the creation of the color adjustments and then from there I'm going to show you guys some final adjustments into making some platforms and a text for in the front but I'm going to be speeding that up so you guys have kind of an idea of how I do create and how you can create these models and things on your own so right now I'm going to be speeding up the whole process I want to thank you already for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and don't, and of course don't forget that all the content that you're about to watch and that will still come will be free so next tutorial you can expect coming saturday on the channel around the same time you will have the same video continuing into the into series of art we will be doing 3d art so i hope to see you there till next time boxers